In today's video, we're going to talk about things you should know before you record. As you record, you will need technical stuff before you upload in. Are you ready? So before you record, there's obviously some equipment and things that you're going to need. A microphone is a super good choice. Um, read the reviews, listen to your favorite YouTube channels and see what they're using. You can also tour the Audible website and look at their tutorials on how to do the whole narrating thing. There's also software that's going to help you clean your files and make them sound professional. And you're going to need it as you upload your lovely voice into an audio file. As you record, you want to be consistent. This means starting your chapter and finishing it usually in the same stretch. And the reason because if you leave it and then you come back to it, it's going to be a different noise. You're going to have different background noise. You might be further away from your mic. You might talk in a louder voice versus a less louder voice. So be consistent. Try to maintain the same sort of tone, pacing, things like that. Now, obviously, as your story gets more eventful, you might increase your pacing and tone, but you want to be mainly consistent overall so that you're not jarring your reader out of their listening. You're going to include room tone at the beginning and end of each audio file from half a second to a second. This helps kind of transition from chapter to chapter, and it also helps Audible with the trans i i think the way they described it was how things kind of it's technical how things uh, get transcribed over into their particular software so number three which is incredibly important you must be a real person yes um audible does not take any speech to text voice recordings uh, nothing for computerized voices, no AI. You have to be an actual real person reading the script. Each chapter must be uploaded separately and cannot be more than 120 minutes. So there's not a um, minimum and there's not a maximum when it comes to your full book, but you're going to upload all your chapters, your prologues, your credits. Each of them is a separate audio file, and none of those can be over the 120 minutes. And you have to clean your file, so you have no, like, popping noises, no, like, little explosions of sounds, no, like, you know, just odd noises that are going to jar the reader out, okay? I really gotta stop saying okay. And that's another thing that you can't have. No little outtakes such as that one right there. So you're going to need to do a few things. With your opening credits, you need the title of your audiobook. So in this case, I would say, In Pursuit of a Billionaire. You're going to put a subtitle if it's applicable. Book 8 of the Ramsley Brothers series. Written by Josephine Bintema. Narrated by Josephine Bintema. If there's a prologue, you're going to add that in as well. And at the beginning of the prologue, you're going to say, Prologue. Or if you have something else written in your manuscript, such as the night before the wedding, you would say that and then start your prologue. So each chapter or prologue must have the same section head as you have in your manuscript. So just as I kind of demonstrated, if it says chapter one in your manuscript, you're going to say chapter one after your half second to a full second of noise room. This kind of distinguishes the tracks for the listener so that they're aware of where they are in the book without having to look at their phone. Or maybe that's on their computer. You need to have ending credits, even if it just says, the end. Then there's some technical stuff. And this is just a joy because I don't even fully understand it, but I do know how to do it, which is important. So each file must measure between minus 23 dB and 8 
minus 18 dB RMS. And that should be a capital B, but whatever. Things happen. Anyhow, the point is, is that there's certain, um, I want to say rate per minute, but that's not it. RMS. I'm sure there is an acronym there. I don't know it offhand at the moment. But the point is, is that they want to have a certain um, flow of noise. They don't want it to be too loud, too uh, quiet, things like that. So your peak value is to be no higher than minus three. So your peaks are when you like hit up versus hitting down, right? Your noise flow cannot exceed minus 60. And when you are rendering your lovely audio file into an MP3 player, it has to have a constant bit uh, rate of 192 KP, KBPs or higher. So I'm going to sh show you in another video exactly how to do this with the recording software Audacity. So that's what I use. I do have another video. You can go find it in the series. Um, I'll put a link in the description and it will help you to set up your actual recording um, uh, levels so that you also will be able to just simply go and pass them. It makes it a lot easier. <laughs> Uh, all your files have to either be mono or stereo exclusively for your book. They don't want you mixing. So they don't want chapter one to be mono and chapter two to be stereo. They just want it to be one or the other the whole way through. So that is the technical stuff. It's not very difficult once you have your settings done. So are you ready? There's the next question. But anyway, we're going to actually go through the steps of uploading a project in our next video. So if you would like to watch that one, I would really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed watching this one. And if you did, hit the like, subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss the next video where we go through the steps of uploading a project. And maybe, you know, recommend me to a friend. <laughs> This is free for you, and it really helps me with the YouTube algorithms, and so I really do appreciate it. Anyhow, happy listening, and happy reading!